today we are at an event called the Cube of Truth. It's run by an animal rights organisation called Anonymous for the Voiceless. And basically, as you can see behind me, there are a couple of activists in a cube formation holding television screens that are displaying the inherent cruelty inside the meat, dairy and egg industries where animals are subjugated to rape, torture, abuse and murder. We are showing the public the Holocaust that is happening behind closed doors. It is so important to attend any outreaching event or activism event or even protesting and be a voice for these animals. They are literally relying on us to be a voice for them. So today we're going to film some outreach conversations and show you how to do a general outreach conversation with someone who hasn't even heard of veganism before or hasn't seen this footage before. It is a very easy process to make them realise that they are directly abusing animals if they are not vegan. This is a great doorstep into animal rights activism. This is how my activism journey started by um, participating in these cubes of truth. And we're just trying to start some discussions here. We want to reel people in to see the truth and the realities of these horrific industries of violence, rape, torture, animal abuse and murder. And we want to have outreach conversations with those people to get them to question their own lifestyle choices. Yeah, this is the egg industry here and what's happening is, as it says on the screen, the male chickens are put through a macerator and they're actually ground up alive. Why do you think they're doing that to the males? Exactly, because the males don't lay eggs. So these industries actually kill the male babies because they don't lay eggs and it's the same in the dairy industry because the male babies don't produce milk so most of them are actually killed what it's horrible isn't it what do you think's more value to you like more important some a being's life or your taste exactly but if you saw say someone just beating a dog in the street would you be okay with that no it's actually it's actually fine. No, yeah. it's not fine. Like, you would feel compelled to want to stop yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Right. So what is the difference between a dog, a cow, a chicken, or a pig? What is the difference? Nothing, actually. I mean, there's physical differences, yeah, there's but... Physical, but, yeah, there's, they're but in, all animals. So they're all animals. Yeah. They all want to live. They all want to avoid suffering. Mm -hmm. So why don't we attribute them the same value, the same moral value that we attribute to the dog? Why do we fund these industries to abuse animals against their will but then allow and then try to stop a dog being abused if you saw it in the street why why don't we attribute the same value can you see the, the hypocrisy there in a way yeah like we're against animal abuse i'm sure you are like you said you questioned it at the start but you can see where you would be against animal abuse but we don't play the same rules to these animals so it's a bit hypocritical of people to fund these industries yeah man so if you consider it hypocritical what's stopping you from say no longer funding these industries or say going vegan have you thought about veganism before like yeah yeah do you know what it do you know what it is yeah. not eating any um, animal yeah no no animal products and going even beyond that and not like purchasing from industry, say the leather industry, uh, cosmetic, where they test on animals, because it's all forms of animal abuse. Would you agree? Yeah. Yeah, man. So going forward, do you reckon you would look into veganism a little bit more? 
Yeah, I'll probably get cereal. Yeah, man. Because eating these products, these animal animal flesh and secretions with dairy and eggs, it's not necessary. You know, we don't need it to survive. This for six months. After six months, they get put onto a truck and they're sent to a slaughterhouse. Okay. Inside the slaughterhouse, they use uh, CO2 gas to stun the animals. So they put them inside a gas chamber, they lower them in, and the gas slowly burns their lungs, it burns their respiratory tract, and they're in such distress that they thrash about in pain for two minutes or longer until they're rendered unconscious. So the whole process is absolutely barbaric and violent. So these babies, are sent to slaughter their gas. Sometimes the gassing doesn't work and they're actually conscious when they slit their throat. After they slit their throat, they go to a boiling hot water bath to remove their hair. Sometimes they're still conscious when they reach the water bath. Did you know that this was happening? How does it make you feel when you see the footage? Yeah. Do you love animals? Yeah. Yeah, everyone loves animals, you know. Australia is a nation of animal lovers, but the thing that most people don't realise is that to produce their food, these animals are going through this awful, awful process. Because we want to make as much profit as possible, they send them to the slaughterhouse when they're babies. And these animals, they're terrified. They go into the slaughterhouse and they, you can see the fear in their eyes. They don't want to die. And then they, they shoot them in the head with a uh, bolt gun, okay, to make them unconscious. And again, they slit their throat, okay? And they're only babies. Yeah. Um, but there's an alternative. You can choose other options. In these industries, these animals are raped, they're tortured, they're abused, they're mutilated without any pain relief. And obviously they're sent to murder factories, what we call slaughterhouses, and their life is unnecessarily taken away from them. Um, the reason I say unnecessary is because we can live without eating meat, dairy and eggs. What you see here is these baby calves are killed and this is in the dairy industry and it's all the male calves that are killed. Why do you think it's just the males that are killed? Because uh, like, they used to like good for like reproduction or something. To, like... Exactly, yeah. So the females are the ones that produce the milk. So for, yeah. so for cow's milk, ice creams, yogurts yeah. and all that sort of thing. I have lactose problems but still We're not designed to be drinking breast milk as adults, let alone from another species. It's yeah. so weird. So we we can drink like soy milk, almond milk. There's even like um, vegan ice creams and yogurts and cheeses. Yeah, yeah. So you can you it's like vegan like eggs and stuff. Or yeah, like, like yeah, cows. exactly. Yeah. So there are vegan alternatives to everything. So this is completely unnecessary, and that's yeah. what we're trying to show here. Is if you're against this animal abuse. To be the only way to stop being an animal abuser is to be vegan. Kind of cruel. Cruel. Yeah, man. It's pretty abusive in that yeah. industry. So this is the meat, dairy, and egg, egg industry. Do you consume meat, dairy, and eggs? Yeah. How often would you say? Every day. I would yeah, say. man. Yeah. Would you say you're against animal abuse? Yeah, after seeing this, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So would you consider yourself now? now that you know that it's a form of abuse and you're kind of funding it, and you would say that you do appreciate animals, would you say it's hypocritical of yourself to continue to fund these industries? Yeah. Yeah, man. If you consider this abuse, and you would say it's hypocr hypocritical of yourself to be funding these industries, what's stopping you from being a vegan? What's stopping you from making that change? Nothing, actually. I'm actually starting to eat just for a week, just to try it yeah, out. Man. Yeah, man. Yeah. Starting from today. Yeah. So, would you say that you're against this animal abuse? Yeah. Yes, we are. Are you vegan? Yeah. Um, not a vegan, but vegetarian. Okay, great. So, yeah. just consuming dairy and egg products? Yes, that's right. Yeah. So, yeah, we're still showing that vegetarianism isn't enough because the dairy and egg industries are no different. In fact, I'd argue that they're even worse. But, like, I don't eat, like, beef and stuff now. Yeah. Yeah, it's, like, against our religion as well. Yeah, yeah, okay. That's all, yeah. Sure. We can do like dairy and milk and eggs, that's, that's a different scenario besides eating of that one. Right, yeah. so how is um, the dairy and egg industries different because these the animals in those industries are still murdered? Yeah. They're
their life is still unnecessarily taken away from them. A lot of people believe that the animals are not harmed in dairy and egg farming. However, I argue that it's worse because they're exploiting females for their reproductive systems yeah. and they're murdering the males as babies because they don't produce breast milk and eggs. Yeah. Would you say that you are an animal abuser if you are paying people to do this to animals? Uh, but yes. But... Your question initially, though, was that if you are not a vegan, does that mean you are... Um, that you're not against animal abuse. How is that fair if you're pushing that onto so, something? Okay. Isn't, it, isn't, so it, what? isn't it about giving people the choices to a free, a free... But how is... What about the animal's choice? They're enslaved, they're raped, they're tortured, abused yeah, and murdered. Exactly. So, so what I'm trying to show and explain here is that if you're not vegan, you are an animal abuser. And if you're against animal that, abuse, you are yeah, a hypocrite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, darling. So if you're not vegan, you do pay for animal abuse. But looking at this industry practice here, so this is the separation in the dairy industry because they have to take the baby calves away from the mum because they're going to be drinking their milk. So when you're purchasing and drinking milk for yourselves, you're taking it away from the calves. See how the, um, the mother is chasing behind? Would you say that you're against this? Yeah, definitely. We are vegetarian yeah. since uh, two years now. Fantastic. Have you considered yeah. veganism before? Yeah, we, we're close to vegan. Okay, yeah. so you're trying? 85% vegan. Yeah. yeah, okay, awesome. You vegan? Yes, I am. Yeah, so all of us here today are vegan and we're just trying to show everyone that if you're against animal abuse and you're not vegan, you are a hypocrite and an animal abuser. And it's amazing that you guys are making that step to the change. We're trying. Yeah. Yes. yeah, and thank you for making such important lifestyle changes. You, once you go vegan, you'll feel so much more um, like at peace with yourself. I know what you mean. We, we, yeah. we feel it since yeah, we feel more lighter, everything is better. You know, yeah. Mind. Eating the meal without feeling guilty about yeah. anything. Exactly, yeah. yeah. More Phys energy, everything. Mm. Yeah, physically and mentally better. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. No worries. Have a great day. See ya. So, have you guys thought about veganism at all? Um, yeah, I have, but I do. I'm very organic, so I do try and get grass-fed, blah blah, yeah. all that sort of organic. Um, go and get um, eggs from Swan Valley. Sure. Home, home, you know, like home done eggs and all that. Yeah. So I, I am very already aware of the industry. Right. Do you think that even if the animal was raised, say, organically grass-fed and they all end up at the same place where Which they do they have do, their throat yeah, slit do. and in a way they're murdered because it's against their will, you know, you're taking their life. They have an equal right to live just as much as we do yeah. and if we're taking it away just for food, which is unnecessary. I mean, we don't yeah. need to be eating meat, dairy or eggs to survive and thrive. It's completely unnecessary. Yeah. So even if it is the most ethical, they all end up at the same place. Yeah. They all have their lives taken away from them unnecessarily. Meals. You find that they're really tasty. It's simple. Um, recently, I actually started eating this burger in... What's, um, what's this? Is it like a Beyond Meat? Um, no, it's not meat. It's actually pure... Pe like it's a, a plant meat, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're really, they're really good I, now. I, I tasted it. I was like, what? What the is the difference? Is the, yes. It's not different. So if you have oh. those alternatives, what is stopping you? Honestly, you even have the meat alternatives yeah. that taste exactly uh, after, like after meat. After I got, after I ate that um, one um, vegetarian burger, I was yeah, like, yeah. Oh shit, this is really good. I yeah, should man. eat this. It's I more know. healthy than. It's that meat. easy, bro. It's more healthy than the like, uh, real one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're a lot more healthy than the actual meat alternatives. Mm -hmm. They're not the healthiest because obviously yeah, a whole food plant yeah, based diet we eat. It still has um, those. It has a little bit of saturated fat, but it compared to meat, yeah. much healthier for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Much better for the environment and obviously better for the animals. You're no longer paying for the abuse of animals. You know, obviously, how to eat vegan. You've done it at Hungry Jack's. It's at our convenience okay. now. <laughs> yeah, man. What's your name? Um, Sid. Sid, Jack. Sid. Sid nice. 
Nice, man. Nice to talk to you. Nice to meet you. Yep. Definitely give yeah. it a go. Yeah. I think, I, I think I've persuaded you, and you've persuaded yourself. You, you know. You can't yeah. do it anymore. All right, man. Yeah. Have a good one. I'll see you later. Yeah, man. Catch you later. Awesome.